listen this message sets you into a place that you weren't before and it's a good place it's a place where you're benefited and prospered in a way that you couldn't being in the other place being in ignorance about the one who works all things in heaven Jesus at his right the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 1 now concerning spiritual gifts brethren i would not have you ignorant who's this written to mm -hmm. to the brethren why would he write this and say i wouldn't have you ignorant because you can have brethren say you can have brethren, you can have brethren. that are ignorant mm -hmm. of things pertaining to the spirit is this possible it isn't possible then why did he write it right now concerning spiritual gifts and you know that I think is a little bit misleading that word gifts there because as he goes on and talks in the rest of this chapter he's not just talking about the gifts of the Spirit he's talking about the Holy Ghost and things pertaining to the Holy Ghost you understand you understand that so now concerning things pertaining to the Spirit would be a better translation brethren I would not have you ignorant was it Paul's plan for people to be ignorant no. well then why are you so ignorant so Paul here says I would not have you ignorant well I would not have you ignorant mm -hmm. you know there are people out there that would have you ignorant about things pertaining to the Spirit either wittingly or unwittingly they have you and want you ignorant mm -hmm. concerning the things pertaining to the Holy Ghost Amen. say the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost have you ever been in places like this mm -hmm. well if you're not ignorant listen if you're not ignorant then you have something I hope you understand I want you to have some lack of ignorance concerning things that pertain to the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. because some have not this knowledge that we're talking about tonight mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you shouldn't be ignorant about this fact he is God in the earth he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth and there are ways that we can walk with him and you shouldn't be ignorant about it but this is new to some people now remember we began this we're talking about things pertaining to the Holy Ghost and how he does things mm -hmm. right verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit who would that be Holy Ghost dividing to every man severally as he wills so we have the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and all these worketh that one if it's worked by God in the earth who's the one working it that one self same spirit as he wills you think he has any authority in the earth yes. yeah he's God and all of it is worked by this one say this one this, this one. one spirit mm -hmm. what well, one spirit would that be the Holy Ghost and he is God in fact let's look up at verse 6 and there are diversities of operations but it is the same God that worketh it's the same God that worketh down in verse 11 it says all these worketh that one spirit verse 6 calls him God it's the same God 
what same god a different god no it's the same god the holy ghost that worketh all in all you got a problem with me worshiping the Holy Ghost the Living God and expecting him to do and work all in all a lot of people would a lot of people would be ignorant about that fact just within the first five minutes of this video I've revealed facts that people most people are ignorant of mm -hmm. that it's the Holy Ghost he's the only one that one self same spirit doing things as he wills all things as he wills mm -hmm. say all things, all things. As, he wills, as he wills in the earth mm -hmm. what god is he talking about a god that they were ignorant of mm -hmm. paul stormed the doors of the corinthian church and started talking about the holy ghost things pertaining to the Holy Ghost the same God that works all in all that they were ignorant of so it's the same God it's the same spirit it's the same spirit God that works all say it's the same, it's the same. Spirit, God spirit God that works, that works all, all in all, all. do you want to have God working in your life at all what God is going to be working in your life the Holy Ghost the same Spirit God he works all in all all these worketh that one mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. am I annoying yet yeah. well people get upset when I say things like Holy Ghost only well this this sort of shows you what I mean you can see this right let's look at verse 7 you still there first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit king james says profit with all a lot of other verse, versions say profit everybody but it's really not that's not really what it means it just means to profit the literal translation just says to profit it's the same word where jesus said it's expedient for you if i go away it's profitable for you say profitable for, me. profitable for me so the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man say every man, every man. to profit mm -hmm. right who's gonna profit by the manifestation of the Spirit that man mm -hmm. because the manifestation of the Spirit the manifestation really means the unveiling the revealing of the Spirit who gets benefited by when the when the Spirit is unveiled or revealed to me I get benefited right. who gets benefited or prospered when the Spirit the Holy Ghost is unveiled to you you profit by that well I am given the manifestation of the Spirit for profit I am given the unveiling of the Spirit the revealing of who you can see where, where he was going with all of this it's that same Spirit that works mm -hmm. it's the same God that works mm -hmm it's as he wills Holy Ghost in the earth all in all well having that listen having that unveiled to you will result in you prospering the revealing the unveiling of him the Holy Ghost to you will be prosperous well there is a new manifestation of the Spirit in fact this is new to most most people have not heard this yet it sounds strange to them at first but I'm bringing you into something new well if you haven't heard this before this is new mm -hmm. right so I'm bringing you into something new if you don't think this is new then you're not hearing it yet because when you begin to hear it you will realize this is something new and many people will go oh my goodness what have I been doing for the last 45 years this isn't the same I know the same I've been in the same I've preached the same and I know the same when I hear it and this isn't it but this isn't the same this is different 
this does something different the Bible calls it diversity of operations this sets you in a place that you weren't before listen this message sets you into a place that you weren't before and it's a good place it's a place where you're benefited and prospered in a way that you couldn't being in the other place being in ignorance about the one who works all things are you getting this yes. this sets you in a new space well at some point when you've been here a while in this new place in this new space you'll talk to other Christians from time to time and you'll realize that they're not here there's something not quite there yet there's something that seems to be a veil over their eyes that's been removed from yours it's not to criticize them the fact is you've had the veil taken away to know who the Spirit of the Lord is mm -hmm. and they're still behind that religious veil and they can't quite see it yet mm -hmm. does this make sense yes. well, the fact is I'm not the same person in this room that I was out there in the same with everybody else I'm different in here I've been changed in here say I've been changed, I've been changed. in here, here in this space in this space behind the veil I've been changed I'm different I'm seeing him the Holy Ghost and I'm changed into that which he is now if you don't go behind the veil you can't see him for who he is and you will never be changed into it second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is see that the veils taken away now the Lord is that spirit if the veil hasn't been taken away then you don't know who the Lord is and I'm not talking about Jesus Jesus did not turn into magically the Holy Ghost he sent the Holy Ghost into the earth and you're ignorant of who he is nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty obviously a kind of liberty a kind of freedom in that space that you could not occupy or have without the revelation of the fact that it's the holy ghost who is the spirit lord in the earth today and when you come to know him the holy ghost as the spirit lord you will worship him those two things go hand in hand you can't go here without it and if you want to be in the liberty that the Holy Ghost has provided for you to enter into you have to go behind this veil mm -hmm. now the Lord is you pull back the veil that spirit working all in all what if I have a revelation of the Holy Ghost is the one working all in all the veil's been taken away I see him for who he is he's working all in all here it says I get some kind of liberty by it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's he gonna work Liberty mm -hmm. in me mm -hmm. if I see that if I don't see it he can't work the Liberty and it's not Jesus Jesus said in John 14 16 I will send another not myself he didn't say and I'm gonna go to the Father and then I'm gonna send myself in the form of another that's what most people think he's gonna send another it's profitable for you if I go away mm -hmm. the manifestation the unveiling of the Spirit will be a profit to you say the unveiling, the unveiling. Of, the spirit of the Spirit will be a profit to me 
why would it be profitable to you because you begin to see who he is is he a poor god no he's a living god a god of all wealth and ability and works all in all that people were ignorant of christians were ignorant of brethren were ignorant of don't be an ignorant brethren go behind the veil and learn who the spirit lord is begin walking with him worshiping him and pleasing even jesus because you're walking with the one that he sent for you to walk with Amen. it's profitable for you if i go away then he said this is john 16 7 we won't turn there if i go not away he won't come how could he be talking about himself this was not jesus talking about himself if i don't leave he won't come no one says that about themselves if i don't leave i won't come it's not him now the lord is why do people get so upset about it now the lord is that spirit the one jesus sent his name is the holy ghost he's in the earth he's the living god if i depart i will send him unto you he didn't say i will send myself in a different form unto you if that were the case that's what he would have said so hopefully we are unveiling the spirit the manifestation of the spirit the unveiling or revealing of the spirit is profitable for you unveiling him means you're seeing him say i'm seeing him, I'm seeing him if it's unveiled the veil you put a veil on your face right you take the veil off you see something or someone you didn't see before who are you seeing jesus no no you're seeing him the one jesus sent is this getting to you yes. you see him and are changed by worshiping him second corinthians 3 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is a place there is a space there is a place you go and can be in and live in a place of liberty a place of prosperity a place of healing a place of youth renewal with the holy ghost verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord lord who holy ghost and he'll even say that and are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or the spirit who is lord mm -hmm. are you getting this well we're changed by seeing him we're changed by worshiping him in fact as these things are unveiled to you you realize that all things come out of him that's why when it says he works all in all that means all of the things come out of him Amen. and all things come out of the manifestation or unveiling of the spirit oh it's not that important then you don't get all things that's how important it is if you want all things that come from god then all things are worked by that same god that works all in all all things come out of the manifestation of the spirit the unveiling of the spirit well i want prosperity i want prosperity all things come out of the unveiling of the spirit who is prosperity i want healing i want healing you have to have him unveiled to you as the spirit of healing and health and then you worship him 
those go hand in hand worshiping him will cause him to manifest himself and reveal himself to you as the spirit of health as the spirit of wealth all things any unveiling of him or manifestation of him is profitable is expedient and is superior to your circumstance or situation mm -hmm. say that any, any. Manifestation, manifestation or unveiling, or unveiling. of him yeah. is superior, superior to my situation, my situation. Or, circumstance. or circumstance is this good news yes. when he's unveiled to you you go above your circumstance you go above your situation you're advanced beyond say I'm advanced beyond. I'm advanced beyond and you learn how to go to that space how to go to that Liberty he puts you over Amen. he's the one who works all in all you enter into this place this place of the Spirit that is over all things he is over all and we enter into his space Amen. is he over the circumstance mm -hmm. is he over the sickness mm -hmm. yes. he has liberty mm -hmm. say he has liberty, he has liberty. <laughs> it's by entering into his space that we have that same liberty we have that same prosperity we had that comes on us from him he works it say he works it, he works it. All, all in all. all are you part of all yes is your situation part of all yes. <sighs> but worship will take you there take you where take you into that place it takes you behind the veil to know that he is God in the earth today working all in all mm -hmm. and when I say worship I don't mean just singing your favorite songs mm -hmm. I mean actually opening your mouth and saying I worship you Holy Ghost you're using words you enter in through spoken words say I enter in, I enter in through, spoken words. through spoken words worshiping him and speaking in agreement with him is how he works all in all mm -hmm. you want to get him working all in all mm -hmm. all your situations say all my situations, all my situations. and all of me, and all of me. This is how he works all in all and he is above everything this is how the same God works all these worketh that one are you still here yes. all these worketh that one if we find out how he worketh and we get in agreement with him then he will work all things in all for us this making sense mm -hmm. this is where we go this is the space we go into that's above all the other places mm -hmm. all these worketh all these what all these words all these things that we say that are in agreement with him he's able to do for us today mm -hmm. if we'll say them and worship him the results you desire are on the other side of these spoken words say the results, the results. That, I desire that I desire are on the other side, the other side. of these spoken words. spoken words when we speak his words he begins working all in all of our situation are you here yes. so the unveiling or new manifestation of the spirit is a new place in the spirit is a new space in the spirit that other people have not gone to and we're beginning to go there and occupy it Amen. say occupy it. occupy it more and more people every day are beginning to go there and they enter in through worshiping him and speaking in agreement 
with his word because he's got a lot of all in all to do we know whom we worship and speak in agreement with I'm not backing off from it I know whom I worship and speak in agreement with he is the one God and he works all in all are you getting this yeah. well I preach from this place my words will take you here because it's in here what's in here all is in here are you getting this all is in here well I need all that's what I need this is how you get there you got to go behind the veil and I'm telling you worship will take you there quicker than anything else in fact if you don't worship him there are certain things you can't have but if you worship him God the Holy Ghost he'll take you behind the veil you'll begin to see him for who he is and he'll begin working for you Amen. especially those things where you speak in agreement it's in here I can taste it I can see it how can you see it because you go behind the veil as you go behind the veil and worship him and speak in agreement with his words you begin to see it all say I begin to see, begin to see it, it all even those things you thought weren't even available to you anymore they become available to you why because they're his and you're with him it's in here I can see it I can taste it the Bible says in Psalms 34 8 oh taste and see that the Lord is good you have to taste it first you got to say it first you taste with your tongue you got to say it first and then you will see that the Lord is good well I've never worshiped the Holy Ghost begin worshiping him use your taster use your mouth and begin saying I worship you Holy Ghost and then begin saying things that are in agreement with his word you're tasting it and then you will see it uh, Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4 for those who were once enlightened say once enlightened, once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift which means they used their tongue and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost or partners with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. by using their tongue verse 5 and have tasted the good word of God which means they use their tongue they've said the good word of God and the powers of the world to come mm -hmm. you know what the world to come is right mm -hmm. that's the future that's tomorrow you're tasting of the powers of tomorrow the powers the Word of God and the power of God will affect your tomorrow worship him today listen worship him today and speak in agreement with his word by tasting his word and your tomorrow will be different this is your future mm -hmm. I'm showing it to you I'm telling you how to get here this is your future when you worship him the Holy Ghost and enter in behind that veil and confess the scriptures you are tapping into that realm that is above and beyond all circumstances above and beyond all situations and you will be changed and you will walk with him and know the way to go forward I would not have you ignorant of these things concerning the Holy Ghost his being God and how you walk with him by saying words this same God this same God that works all in all will begin working in all of your life as you worship him and speak in agreement with his word let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are becoming settled in these facts and they're entering into the space where all things are possible and nothing will be held back from them for this is the day and the hour for the great people of God to rise up and stop being held back 
by religious traditions but become the people I have called them to be says the Spirit of the Lord and they shall be great in this day and we're honored and privileged Holy Ghost to worship you and speak in agreement with your word and fulfill everything that you've called us to fulfill in this day in this hour in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering or a tithe and an offering two offerings and two tithes and whatever you got hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that I'm entering in to your place where all things are possible to me and I can go forward in your prosperity in your goodness and in your way I give you all the praise in Jesus name amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today 